Hello, buddy. My name is Mr. Bonesy, and welcome back to The Evil Within, The Consequences. Now, in the last episode, we killed the little light creature. Um, I don't know its name. It just calls Le it calls out Leslie's name a bunch. And uh, we're basically near the end of the game, I would say. At least in main story plot. Don't know about DLC. Uh, we're at, like, we're, we're, I think in the actual game, we're past chapter 13 or during chapter 13. Which means we're in chapter 14 in the main story. This is chapter 4. And we're back with the stealth blowy up, you guys. Mmm. It's a good thing I have bottle two. So the real question is, is where do I throw this? Where do I have to go? Probably over there. What's the plan? I don't know if that did anything. I'm in a corner. Okay, I was supposed to go over here. And I'm generally impressed that I managed to get that. Thank God I kept, uh, kept that bottle. That made that significantly easy. Er, the guy in there too. Mm, I have something over there too that I would like. Oh, wait. I know why this is here. Can I be real? Oh, there's a bottle here. Can I be really, really honest? I did not see an area where I needed a key card. Am I supposed to go back? Very confused. You're just coming over here. Did you back off? True. No, I didn't say come come here. I didn't do like pss, pss, pss. I said shoo. Get the fuck out of here. Thank you. Why is this guy interested now? He was not interested. That was just another guy. Okay. Where am I supposed to go? There's a bottle here. Oh, there's something over there. How do I get over there? There. I see it now. What if I... Get close and then throw it, and then I push the thing. Okay. Now don't do that thing where you make a loud noise too. Okay, you don't. Oh, I got through that section pretty smoothly, I would have to say so myself. Ah! 
Leslie, you like not? <laughs> Why can't I have that Leslie luck though? Like, oh, honestly, he's just running through everything and nothing's killing him. I think I'm fighting the keeper in there. Oh, is this the bad kitchen? God damn it, there's enemies. More of them. I created this world. Fuck your world. Okay. Oh, I'm being quiet. I hate being so quiet. I would like to kill you. Alright, at least I got an event. I was gonna say. Nice to see how there's three enemies. I thought there was just two! <laughs> at least they can't get me while I'm in here. Can the music stop being crazy? They lost me. There's no way they can get to me. Is it just two of these guys, or is it, like, three paintings? Oh, okay. That means I got a bottle and an axe. Oh, my God, there's another painting. And there's still enemies. Nice. Okay. All right, get out of here, guys. Luck of the draw. I took damage. But I got you, Leslie. It's this thing. I forgot its name. Oh. Leslie. Please don't. Can you shoot the thing that's grabbing me at least? Where's the courtesy? Nice. Now kill the things behind you, because there's three of those guys back there. It's all right. Everything's gonna be fine. Oh. <laughs> that's literally what I'm gonna do. Oh. No, I, I'm all of a sudden a nice guy. I guess I'm doing more abuse. That's like I should. Hurry, this way. And Leslie, you're so hard to kill. Um, I could solve this. Yeah, I could solve this. Never mind. I just realized that I've uh. I don't know if that blows up on me. I did see the number down there of like how many times I can. Is it? It's a. It's one of those solve things where it's like, can you solve this in four, four tor like moves? I definitely won't. Over. 
have a gun now. Oh, nice. <laughs> no bullets, though. That's why I couldn't shoot Leslie's, because I had no ammunition. I hope that bastard doesn't come back. For your sake, Leslie. What are you talking about? We're in his world. He doesn't. He's a brain. The park. That's exactly where I killed Joseph. I think. Is it gonna be the same cutscene? Leslie can go home. Can take the train all the way home. No, Leslie. Not today. You'll protect me? No, but the guy upstairs yes. can. That's my job. Good, good, good. When I get home, they'll be surprised. Okay. Man, poor Leslie. don't understand you don't know what he'll become we know exactly what he'll become that's why we need him you don't understand what Ruvik is after Ruvik is a corpse he's after Leslie and so are we and you're more afraid of him than us don't patronize me I have orders but I can't let him have this boy Leslie is the only one who can that's actually kind of cool. Don't do it. See, he didn't die from that shot. He was just shot like at the chest. Oh, come on. Where's the game logic in that? The hell's happening? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Put the gun away. I don't even know why I was aiming at Leslie. I had nothing on me. Save. Didn't I just save not too long ago? If I didn't, that means I'm... This is probably a boss fight. A boss fight with no ammo. All right. Kitty cat. Get off me. This will probably be the last time we'll meet. So be a good... A good cat. And I'll probably see you in my dreams that I lived through this experience. Oh! Ha! Oh. I'm back here. Oh, those enemies, there's enemies. Why are they all gathered? Oh! I didn't even notice. Oh, shit. He's too far gone. Can you at least let, can you come back? <laughs> can you come back and kill all these guys, please? Not really much I can do here. I don't even have a bottle. I could have sworn I had an extra bottle. Oh hi nurse. I would kill these guys with an axe if it was easy in this game. I'm just saying. He's gonna see me. Generally impressed he didn't see me. One down, two to go, I think. Oh, I got blood all over me. It's in my hair. I need to grab this axe. I would also like to grab this bottle. Fucking hell. Blue highlight my ass, dude. Okay, well. I was gonna say self section no more. Yeah, self section no more. Okay. Um. Do, 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 do. 
Okay, I couldn't go through the door. I don't think I could. I'm in a fucking corner. I have an app. You did a lot of damage. Go over there. <laughs> did he fuck off? Fuck off. This is a dead end. Give up. Okay. Oh my god. Alright, uh, you didn't see how the first guy didn't do anything. Learn from him. There we go. You know what? It's actually extremely better to get his attention, go in this vent, wait for him to turn around. Because, like... Yeah, he's gonna be, like, trying to hit me and stuff, and he's gonna be alerted, but at least if, if I have an axe, is the moment he's like, oh, okay, I turn away, I can just kill him. Immediately. There's no consequence for doing this. Yeah, like, here we go. There we go. And I can grab this axe right here. So now I have an extra axe. An extra axe. And a dream. I would have been dead if I was running through this because I had to push this open. I killed all of you. Get get out of here. <laughs> Can't throw that at me. Answer our questions. What are you afraid of? What could haunt you so? What could you need that only we could be the ones to fill it? Was your waste of life something you wish to return to? Are you not grateful for what we've done for you? We let you into our circle. <coughs> we gave you a new life. Why will you turn your back on us? Why will you not stand with us? <laughs> Don't laugh at me! It's so funny! I almost died! And you're laughing. <laughs> All right, if I start coughing later on, blame it on my bottle. Also, dude, that wasn't that funny. I do that a lot often than you think I do. What am I supposed to do in here? Oh. No. <laughs> I don't know why, but I always somehow... I My body hates drinking stuff. Because I always somehow, as I'm sipping water... All of a sudden, it gets in my windpipe, and then I can't breathe. I teleported in different rooms when I did that. And now I sound funny, because I'm recently recovering from my throat being choked. Mm, I wouldn't describe it. I shouldn't describe it like that. What are you? Are you so unimportant? The patients are dying when connected to the machine? What are you implying, Jimenez? After what you did to him. Now, all of this is just conjecture, but it's as if Ruben's consciousness remains trapped inside Stem, and he's attacking anyone attempting to enter. This is inexcusable. We need to get around this. We can't have come all this way for nothing. Ruvik. He was in Stem all along. Mm. Well, he's not gonna get me. Yeah? He probably is gonna get me though. I'm already like two thirds of the way dying. If you did an X-ray in my lungs, it'd probably be like 25% water, or just liquid. Because how many times I do that? I, that's a common occurrence. Not every day, of course, but like every like once a week at least. Why Leslie? What makes him special? Leslie was not always like this. He became catatonic after a traumatic experience as a child. His family was murdered in front of him. Holy fuck! It would suggest that brainwave synchronization with Ruben correlates to specific trauma. In this case, Ruben's own loss of family. This will not do. We need something else at the core. Something more acceptable to a whole range of people. I feel bad for Leslie even more now. I didn't know that. Oh, I don't know why I thought Vent would be important there.
I can't, I realize I can't run forever. That is the one thing that kind of sucks about this, about Kidman. I say, I say it all the time. It's just, I can't run. I would like to move faster. Take off the high heels, I swear. Has to be slowing you down somehow. What, what's the point of coming in here? Okay. There we go. Oh, it's a little model. We need someone rational inside STEM. Potentially that person could neutralize Ruben. I mean, Ruvik. With my knowledge of the system, I may be of some... Absolutely not. We can't afford you complicating this any further. We will prepare one of our own. Sending someone inexperienced, we... We can't even be sure they can come back. Then it will need to be someone... Expendable. Expendable. So that's how you see me. And I trusted you. <laughs> uh, should, uh, should I be... Am I safe? What do I do? I don't feel safe in here now. Uh. Oh. Oh. <gasps> oh. This is... Well... I hope it's not what I think it is. Now there is there a purpose in this room? I don't know why I'm so fixated on this room. It's just kind of odd to have it there and not have anything about it. Oh! Okay, I'm supposed to filling up all the, the... Yeah, there we go. Now this room has a purpose. Whoa, I'm in the first room of the game. Look, a keeper puzzle. There is an actual code to that. And I won't know. Maybe because I re- The fuck was that? I thought something like flicker there. I refuse to learn. This is where the first cannibal is. I was hanging like right there. I knew something about it looked so familiar that I was like, I should be panicking. Yeah! Wow! Nostalgic! Thank you for Pastor Bastion. First episode me opening the door. That's awesome. I wonder if I'm going to go through the same thing he went through then. Oh. This is hella cool. Oh my god, the trap. Do I walk through this normally now? I don't think I fucking do. I do. It just startled me. I don't think I've ever been down here then. Yeah, this is all new. Doug. Damn in space. Leslie! Hi! Oh! <laughs> this also looks very familiar. But I don't know what it is. You're not gonna stop me. I mean, if he could do whatever he wants, he's definitely gonna stop you. If he could just keep pushing you into different rooms, you could just be in loop forever. This looks so familiar, but I actually can't remember where this is at. I'm assuming it's one of the DLCs. I feel like it's the first one, the assignment. I just don't remember it. Going through the vents, baby. My nose is really itchy. I don't know why. That's a bomb! And he has a gun! That was not a bomb! I don't know why I thought it was. I can kill him. I have an axe. I wish I could carry more than like one axe. Got 
Got him. The fuck? Ah, double barrel shotgun. All right, enough of this shit. Too bad I have no ammo. Kidman, stop talking like you know business when you don't have ammo. Oh, ammo. Only one shot? Okay. At least I'm fully decked out with items now. I don't know why I walked in here thinking this would be a cool area. I can't even grab the bottle here. All right. No, wait, what? Give me my shotgun. Sadly, I have no pistol ammo. Why you have a shotgun as well? Bullshit. I, I was wanting to kill things. Oh, thank God I got you guys in one shot, honestly. Oh, this is this is the first area of the, the assignment. I remember this little vent area. And there was like a snail or something up against the vent, which I, I think might have been a mechanic. I have one shot. This is not cool. Something saw me. Or at least my thing went off. Shotgun ammo right here. Oh my god. Thank you. Whew. Reload your gun. Thank you for the one shot. I'm really just getting like, but I have to make everything count. Yes, please. I can't shoot you in here. Okay. I just gotta wait then? Oh, you fucking do. Oh, I did not expect you to turn around immediately. Here I go. I can't aim in here. I guess I can. I thought I couldn't. I just can't aim the, aim the shotgun. <gasps> this is where I got dumped. Oh my god. Oh no. Uh-uh. I don't want to deal with that. I'm... I guess I gotta have to. I don't feel safe by the rails anymore. What's seeing me? Are you serious? Just go up. Thank you for the one shot. This is chaotic. You're gonna bust through that. Mm. Just get me through. I don't know what that scream was. Oh, it was it was a Ruvik clone. 
Oh, I have one shot. Am I good? I don't feel comfortable with having nothing on me. I don't know where I am. Just keep going forward. Just hold W. This is like a d Dead by Daylight match. You just keep holding W and pray that nothing happens to you. Very disappointing, kid. Such a simple mission, but still, you act out. Thankfully for us, there's always a backup plan. Not everything we give you is for your benefit. The infusion. What did you put in me? We needed to know if one of us could survive in the system. But we're not about to risk anyone of value. You were sent to carry us in with you. So here I am. Are you the boss? No. It's Rubik. He's making all of this. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, a save point with an audio tape. Please, roll up your sleeve. Whoa, now. That's a big syringe. Don't think you're putting that fucking thing in me. Miss Kidman, you agreed to this. Don't forget that. Nothing we're doing is malicious. It's only proper protocol. You know what's proper protocol? Telling the person getting the fucking shot where the hell she is and what's the fucking point. Ow! Damn it! That's her. Hey guys, what the fuck? Is anyone there? You give me a shot, then just let this weird video play on repeat? Some great fucking medical science you've got going on in here. About damn time. All right, can I go now? Not right now, Miss Kidman. How are you feeling? Any headaches? Nosebleeds, perhaps? What? No. But I do feel a little floaty. Almost like I'm underwater. That's consistent with the effects of the compound. We just have one last part of this test to partake in. Then you will be free to go. Sure. Go for it, I guess. Good. I will now ask you a series of questions. You will answer them while watching the images in front of you. You will not look away from the screen. Do you understand? Yes. Question number one. Have you ever felt abandoned by the ones you trusted? All right, and I can save. Uh, although this is 40 minutes, I'm going to... Push it out because I feel like I'm right there and I feel like the save is just because there's a probably a big boss fight coming up. Plus, I feel this is like too like, like the, we're going up to the top of the mountain. It's weird to stop at the top of the mountain. Come on, we're at the end of the game probably. Get off me, cat. I gotta, I got, I don't know, something to kill probably. Not, not Ruvik. That's Sebastian's job. You gave yourself to us. You made the choice of your own free will. We were the only ones who cared. The ones who took you from your useless life. We gave you a reason to exist. And how do you thank us? By destroying our work? Where will you go when you leave us, kid? Oh, I didn't know leaving the area was going to stop me from talking, honestly. I would have stayed. I don't know. Sebastian's cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do. I don't know. You can't really... You can't tell me you took me in from nothing when you literally said I was expendable. It's kind of screwed up. Hey, you're pointless. Hey, 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 don't betray me, though. You're you're pointless, but still. <laughs> All right. Elevator time. See, Sebastian got stuck there. What? You This sucks and I can't see shit <laughs> Oh I couldn't see anything, honestly. That got dark. At least I can recover health in the elevator. 
all answer our questions. Is it out of fear? Fear is such a subtle thing. But when one experiences true fear, is when they can be controlled. They can be molded. STEM is an abortion, a machine designed on the premise of fear. Yeah, shut up. I got two shots. In a sense, it is perfect for what we hope to achieve. You will be the first. You will bow under this fear, or you will die. You will serve as an example for what we will become. Oh. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There I am. This is me. I'm connected. Just like everyone else. I'm getting out of here. Hi, Joseph. Hi, nothing. Hi, Leslie. Hi, Jimenez. Dr. Jimenez, my bad. Two meat sacks. Hi, Sebastian. Hey, oh my god, that's me. And then a uh, guy. Random dude number two. And then there's a uh, Ruvik right there. I got spun around by doing that. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I should have spun around. Okay, if I find me... Okay, I go this way. I found my body. This door. And too bad I have the stamina of a Slender Slenderman protagonist. Because, God, I get out of breath in two seconds by holding shift. Oh. This is the end of the game, pretty much. Because after this, this is where I fight, uh... Ruvik. Get away from him. Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph, and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. Fair. It's still a fair argument. Good man. That's why I... Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that... <laughs> It's pretty much the same cutscene as in the main game. Leslie! It just lets me take control of Sebastian again. It's the same boss fight. Why am I holding my pistol? I have nothing in it. <laughs> oh, I thought it just ended right there. I was going to be bewildered. Where am I? Oh. I, Morbius. You failed. We gave you an order and you failed. No. None of this is real. You aren't real. You want to believe that, but I'm right here. Oh, we're gonna see your face finally? I've been with you this whole time. This world is a nightmare. But I'm not afraid of you anymore. That just shows how little you understand. You should be very afraid. We have you, kid. And you know the consequences for failure. We won't let you just leave us. Okay, boss time. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> fulfilled what little use you have. This world is a prison for you to run in. Fuck 
Fuck you. I've had enough of this. I'll kill you right here. Oh, I'll try. Get fucked. <laughs> I have like five. Oh, I at least have five shots. <gasps> oh, well, dead ass. Oh. What does this world look like to you? Ah! No! I didn't expect you to be right beside me. Am I dead? What's happening? Oh, I'm out of breath. Let me grab the shotgun ammo that was on the floor five seconds ago. I have nothing now. Stop fucking around with me. Okay. Is it, can I? Okay, it's like, okay, I, I can respect that. Thank you. Dick! <laughs> Should I, like, wait then? Until I see him red? Got him. Ah! Th 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 that was it? Nope. Phase two, I think. And more in close space. Makes sense? Makes so evil, Kidman. Oh, I thought that was going to be an evil Sebastian. Evil me. Oh! Be progress without sacrifice. <gasps> oh my fucking god, they're scary as fuck. Oh my fucking god. Ah! Oh, shut up. You're me. Can you guys stop teleporting me when I fucking unlock something for the first time? Oh, I'm in a corner. <gasps> Oh my god, you guys- Oh my fucking god! You guys are the scariest thing I've ever seen! Gotcha! Ah! Gotcha! Oh. Did the sacrifice not be clones of me? They're scaring me. God, the shotgun takes fucking two years to reload. Get fucked. Ha! My health is back. What's happening? This is the trippiest. At least you're letting me get this ammo in peace. Here I come, baby. It's a shame you'll never see what we accomplished. Shut up. I don't like you anymore. Do I have to dodge stuff? Yep. <gasps> oh my god. That was more shotgun ammo. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Ow. Ouch. Oh. Uh. The shotgun man. Gotcha. Oh my god, can you- can you not? You know how long this thing takes to reload? God, I cannot avoid this thing! Oh, I got rid of one of the hands. Reload, reload, reload. Fucking douchebag. <laughs> reload, 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 reload. There we go. Get more ammo. 
There we go. Reload. Get that ready. Gotcha. Is that it? Is there more? I'm I'm assuming there's more. Oh, hi, cat. Oh, my God. The cat gave me a gun. You have this. When did you have? How long did you have this? Kitty cat. Honestly, you should have just gave this to me sooner. Made my life easier. All right. Come here. I'm beaten and broken. I don't know. This is kind of like making me think of little nightmares. How I'm slowly getting to the guy who's down. Oh, don't think that's funny. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, use this. I'm, yeah. I think so. I do know I'm gonna shoot you. You don't know me. I'm stronger than you think. You don't look bad, Morbius. <laughs> Fucking that scared me. No, it did that thing again. Oh, really don't like how this is a trend, apparently, for uh, the evil within. But I uh, hear him watching the uh, the cutscene for the consequences because apparently I missed it. I'm going to link the video down below in the description, of course, to give credit because uh, I'm watching someone else's video. <laughs> but here I go. This Are you sure enough in yourself? Sure enough to face the responsibilities of your actions. No. Oh, I'm awake. Is this like in the real world? It is. <laughs> nice shot, by the way, if it is. <laughs> Leslie is awake. That's not good, though, because that's Ruvik. I don't think that's good. The brain's gone. What is happening? Agent Kidman, we've got him from here. How long has it been? Thirty-seven minutes since the first pulse. That's all. Wait, what? How did we get here? What are you talking about? Uh, just give me a minute. I need to get Myra. my head straight. Myra, we need you back here. All right, but we've got word he wants a debriefing as soon as you get back. Myra. Wait, yeah, isn't that the name of his wife? Or is it just like a, a coincidence? <laughs> Hey, she's gonna wake me up. She's gonna wake Sebastian up. Oh, damn it. Oh, no! <laughs> I got the weird, like, scar that the other guy had. The Mobius. That's not good. They were right. I failed. But they didn't count on you. I owe you one. Welcome back to the real world, Sebastian. I hope you find what you're looking for. Yay! Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one is. Oh, whoa! I'm guessing it's gonna play credits. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's gonna play credits. All right, that's very interesting. I I think it's because I the last thing I technically did before cutscene is click. So the game was just holding on to that click action. And since it's click to skip, it skipped it. Damn it. Well, cut in... Well, you probably already seen it, but cut in the Mario actual reaction to the uh, ending. I hate how uh, that did that to the main game too. That's an actual issue this game has. Okay, well, that's an issue. Uh, other than that, my thoughts... Oh, it's also a song with lyrics, too. Same one or different, I don't know. Thoughts on the assignment and the consequences. They're practically the same game, DLC-wise. They're not, like, 
they're not different. It's not like Resident Evil 7 where one's fisty cups and one's just uh, shoot them up. Uh, they're actually like, pretty much the same. The continuation, two parts. So my thoughts overall is uh, I like the direction they went with it being more stealth-like and then you have to be quiet. You're like defenseless, the creepy psychological horror. Um, however, my criticism with that, and once again, same thing in the main game, I'm not good at the stealth, so the experience overall was very tedious, I would say. There's a lot of moments where the enemy is just like, huh, like walking, but they're like looking at both ways. Like, I would do that too if I was a monster so I didn't die, but come on, how am I supposed to get past you? It's annoying. It's so annoying. So that's my only complaint, is that it was just, it's a little difficult for no reason. And uh, that boss was kind of annoying because the shotgun takes like two years to reload. <laughs> it takes so long to reload that damn thing. I can never like reload it. I always have to make sure it's reloaded. Because one thing I missed, if I slip, I have to redo the whole animation. So that boss, he, he killed, he slapped me up real good. Um, I really like the weird creature with the, like the light face. Makes me, uh, it, it reminds me of a lot of things actually. But it's very cool. It makes it Resident Evil like for some reason. Um, very creepy. I like how it's mimicking me. At least that's how I inter uh, interpret it. It looks like it's the system stems way of making fun of uh, Ken, uh, Kidman because it has high heels. It's saying Leslie like it's supposed to be looking out for Leslie. And the main villain Morbius. I love his design. Uh, oh, his design's the very simple, but I love his presence. He's literally G-Man and Slender Man as one little thing. And it's very cool. Those are two cool characters. I so he's a he's a very cool and intimidating character. I would say, really does it justice. I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to be as powerful, but like after the first chase scene in the assignment, I was like, this character is going to be cool. And I like how they did another chase scene too with them and this and the cow. The consequences. I especially like the consequences because it does a lot more, like references to the main story the assignment did that as well but this one i liked more because those the moments at the end of the game were really more about kidman rather than just kidman being there like i think that halfway point in the game is more of like what is kidman here for and i this is it literally touched up on her side of the story uh, so i liked it a lot ruvik pretty uh, evil <laughs> nothing new with him though Le poor leslie i do like how they talked about more of the story that's already is in the game but like they just talked about it more like talk about uh sebastian's family uh, just like from a different perspective like yeah i read the, all the little documents in the main story that definitely said that stuff but i don't i do like how they just bring it back again but they're actually like like saying it rather than just dialogue and text i personally like that because i do like the show don't tell um of course like again like like i said earlier that depends on the game i would say there's a lot of games that are really good and there are stuff you have to read. Like Amnesia is a good example. Most of Amnesia is just reading. So it's like if you really want to know the cool story, read. But other games like Half-Life, you, you definitely enjoy it for the it's showing you the world and you're getting immersed into the experience. But I gotta say, these DLCs are pretty good. Um, I know there's a lot of reviews on the DLCs about... Uh, Oh, a lot of negative stuff, but most of the reviews are like, oh, the stealth sucks. And I don't think that, then again, I suck at stealth. And, and so I don't know if that was my waking point of, no, the stealth is awful. I don't want to go out and say that. I like everyone to experience it themselves so they can make their own opinion on the stealth. Me personally, I'm not good at stealth. Uh, so I just don't really want to have an opinion because I feel like it, my opinion's not going to be good anyways. But pretty good. I, I like... The story. I like it a lot. Um, pretty much everything I have to say about it is already said in my other Evil Within ending. So, that's pretty much it. Kidman is a very interesting character. And I do like how they made this... Made, made her more human, I would say. Because she was a very mysterious character in the main story. So I'm glad they touched up on her entire character and made it more... Like... It, it just showed her as a character, <laughs> pretty much. And that's pretty much it. We have one DLC left, the Executioner DLC. That's going to be a one-off, kind of. Like, I'm going to just probably do one video on that. I don't think it's story-heavy. If it is, it's a, I'll do it in one sitting and then just upload it when I can. But I definitely 
will play something else because we've been doing Evil Within since last year, pretty much. For two months, we've been doing the Evil Within. I had game, I have games like that that I played for a long period of time. First one that comes to my mind is Corpse Party. Played that for a while. That one was so long. Uh, but now we can move on to other games. I've been being told a lot from my friend Widget to play a certain game because he want. He actually was willing to buy it for me. He was like, "Do you have this?" And I was like, "Uh." Yeah, I do. So he's like, okay, okay. I want you to play it. So I'm going to be playing the game he wanted me to play. He probably forgot about it now. That was like several weeks ago. But I'm finally going to jump into... Uh, I'm not, who cares? I'm, I'm going to say what it is. It's called Inside. Um, if you know what that is, then be excited. If you don't know what it is, it's made by the same people who made Limbo. I think the name of the other game is... Uh, I think that's the name of it. Could be wrong on that. I just, it's like a 2D art style. Not art style. It's 2D I, from what I've seen. But it's like a 3D environment with like a nice like art style to it. Uh, so if you don't know what it is, stay tuned to see that. Because I, I think it's really good from what I've heard. I've never really seen it much. And if you know what it is, then be excited to see my reactions to it. Because i I never seen it. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Nothing else planned. These credits... Last, so I think that's the end of the credits. Thank God. Almost had another case where I just kept saying like, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Nah, I, I keep doing that sometimes. Ah, uh, chapter four, new game plus. The new game mode difficulty. How long did this take me? One hour, almost two hours, five deaths. Save game. And then title menu. All right. We did it. One one more DLC left. And that'll be it for the Evil Thin. So if you guys enjoy this series, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya!